this, I had some reservations about sharing this. Um, and it makes me a little bit nervous because just because of what I do for a living. But I gotta tell you, there was a point in my life where I felt like I was a slave to diet and exercise. Um, there were words used like, you know, fat burning, carb cycling, toning, you know, just like all these things. And I would always have these before and after pictures. Um, but in reality, and I shared this, I've shared it before on Facebook and I shared it in my private healthy living group with, um, you know, with my thoughts the other day. And I was like, I really feel like I need to put this out there because I know that there are other people like this. And, you know, surprise, I'm also going to make a podcast on this. So keep your eyes open. Yeah, I'm starting a podcast. Um, and I'm also doing a blog. So there'll be more on this. Um, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I have a million before pictures and I don't have any after pictures because, you know, it got to the point of taking the picture, taking the measurements, focusing on the numbers, focusing on the calories, focusing on, am I burning the right calories to lose the right amount of weight? And I felt like there was never really an after. And I was stuck in like this parallel universe of all these numbers and obsessing and there really was not much changing for me. So if I were to be like, hey, here's a before picture, 30, 60, 90 days, my freaking after picture looked the freaking same. So I felt like that wasn't enough, especially with what I do. Was I practicing what I preach? What was it that wasn't working? I was overanalyzing and worrying about what people would think because now even me letting this out like does that mean I'm fake or phony or I was in this you know fake land you honestly and I know this is going to sound crazy but there's so there's a lot of pressure with being a health coach a fitness instructor a personal trainer because I've heard things like yeah I was at this gym and this personal trainer was fat I can't believe it not like you know just like a little fat but really fat do you know that trainer's story? Maybe that trainer's already lost 100 pounds. Maybe that trainer is human just like you and struggles. So there's this image that we are supposed to fit into. And I was like, uh, if I bring this out, then I'm totally fake. If I let people know that this is driving me crazy and making me hate myself and making me stress and making me look in the mirror and obsess over things, it was like I was stuck in this vicious cycle. Ever been there? Right? Like this vicious cycle of dieting and before and after pictures and, and is it supposed to be? Yes, Henry, it is so what you feel. And at that point, I wasn't feeling it because everyone was like, oh, you look fine. You look, you look, you look. And I'm like, no, it's so much. It's not a look. It is not a freaking look. It is not a before and after picture. It is not your waist is smaller. It is how do you feel? Because I felt pretty gross and ugly and disgusting during that time. Because I don't know, was I being fake I, I wasn't letting out the human part of me the struggling part of me the part that I was like I'm a slave to this shit and I'm I'm like I don't want to say being forced to put that on other people but it was like that's that's how you do it as a trainer that's how you do it as an instructor and I got to a point where I had to realize like there's no magic pill there is no 30 60 90 days that's gonna get me fixed that's going to make me happy that's going to have that beautiful after picture that I can share with the ripped abs and the big muscles and all this other stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of setbacks that come along the way with all of this. So I really got to this point where I was like, I would always say, it is not a look, it's a feel, it is not a look, it's a feel, it's a feel, it's a feel, it's a feel. And damn it, if I didn't realize that I had to change my flipping mindset before I even understood what that feel was. There's so much pressure out there, not just in the fitness industry, but just in in society in general. Like, you should look like this on the magazine, or you should get a butt implant so you look like this one, or wear a waist trimmer so you look like this one, and all of that shit is unhealthy. By the way, I swear. So that's just where I'm at with things. So, like, all the, you know, the onion layers are being ripped off today. It's all coming out. I had to realize that I didn't need another freaking diet. I didn't need to obsess over these things or get stuck in this freaking parallel universe. What I needed was to love myself. And I didn't. 
and the hardest part for me is seeing other women and teenagers stuck in that parallel universe. That's what I want to help with. You're not losing your mind. You're not failing at a diet. That bullshit's failing you. Seriously, how long can you sustain eating 1,200 calories or measuring? Like, I get it if that works for you, but please don't ever go as low as 1,200 calories because that's, that's horseshit. If anyone ever tells you that, that's horseshit. So there's a fly around here, and it's gonna, I'm going to go nuts with it. So it's not a 30-day or a 60-day or a 90-day program because if you're counting those days down, that's a diet. That's a diet. It's not, let me only eat 900 calories three days a week and then eat 1,800 the other. That's not healthy, that's not sustainable. That's not you nourishing yourself the way your body was intended. And you know, this may go against complete popular, or this may be the unpopular opinion that you're hearing, but there's certain pillars or certain pieces of our puzzle that tend to get out of balance and you know I've talked with many people who are like yeah when I was measuring a wing and I was lean and I was this but guess what like everything else was suffering in my life and I didn't feel quite like I was who I was supposed to be so maybe you're being a slave or maybe it's a slave to this that or the other but I was seriously like oh I have to make sure I get in this many workouts and burn this many calories and get the steps in on my Fitbit and weigh and measure and all this bullshit that was making me crazy. And, you know, it's so funny because people will say to me now if they see me eating something that's not quite on the diet, oh, my God, you're going to have to work out a lot tomorrow to work that off. And I'm like, pardon me. I, I don't work out for those reasons anymore. I work out because my body can freaking do it. I work out because I want to be a little bit stronger than I was the day before. And if there's some muscles that pop up in that process, I'm cool with that too, right? Because sometimes we get so caught up in this before and after picture world that we miss the real picture. We miss the, the proper balance of what it is that we need, not the diet that so-and-so is doing or the 90-day program that this one's doing. This is all gonna start from the inside out. And it may not be another meal plan or another diet that you need. What you need is to balance these things out and work on you from the inside out. Because for me, it's, it's not about a number on a scale or what the hell size clothes I wear or it, it, I'm not even worried anymore about like, oh, well, she should look like this because she does this, this, and that for a living. Says who? Where's the freaking rule book that says that? If you have one, please show me. I'm about being real. I'm about being healthy. I'm about taking my cholesterol from well over 200 in my 20s to like in the 150s in like I'm coming up on mid 40s so screw the diet exercise I'm not saying don't do it because like exercise is great for you it helps me to not punch people in the throat it's a great stress reliever for me and just knowing not comparing myself to someone over here who's competing for a competition or someone over here who's like hey they look real good they look the part but they're really ugly on the inside so it's, it's me saying, like, I'm stronger than I was yesterday. Or, hey, I couldn't even do a push-up a year and a half ago, and, like, look at me go now. That's where I'm at with the whole exercising world. Because comparison can, like, steal the joy. It can make you very ugly. So the reason why I'm starting a podcast, the reason why I write blogs, the reason why I created the Balance 360 program is because I know there's other people out there that are in this stuck in this parallel universe. There are people that want the support, that need the support, that don't want to, that, that need to understand that you're not alone, that you need to understand that you're not failing at anything. It's everything else, it's all that pressure that's actually kind of failing you. So yeah, keep your eyes open because Balance 360 is going to be open for registration. I'm getting this podcast up and running um, and that's gonna be like, like I, I'm, I'm excited for that one. That's gonna be like all the walls are down and I am really, I'm coming out, I'm letting it all out. So stay tuned for that. And just know that if you feel like you are just struggling in this area of like, well, I just can't lose weight and I hate myself because of it and I don't have anything to compare with after pictures and you know, so-and-so lost all this weight, like 
when you see this um, picture, and, and if you're in the Healthy Living group, you've seen the picture, of all my befores, there is not one damn after picture. And I actually have an, a couple more befores to attach to that one. And I really don't give shit anymore. I really don't. I don't care if there's an after picture or not because in all reality, I'm in it for the long haul. I'm in it for health reasons. I'm in it for, and not just like, oh, I need to be skinny. No, I, I want to be healthy. I want to feel good about what I can do. I want to understand that I uh, it's okay to have a donut every now and again, and I'm not gonna feel like I need to do you know, 1,400 jumping jacks and then starve myself the next day. That's for the look, not the reality of it. That's being a slave to it, and I got really sick of that. And I see that with a lot of people. This is not a punishment. Exercise and diet are not a punishment. And when we can get the right frame of mind and the right mindset, we will totally, totally see, there's that fly, a whole bunch of changes go on in our lives. And if I can do anything from just this message that I'm putting out there today, it's to understand that you are not alone and you do not have to feel this way. And it breaks my heart when I see people, especially young teenagers, that are falling prey to this already. And I've watched it and seen it and worked with people like that. And we have to love ourselves first and foremost before we can actually figure out what path we want to go on. And everybody's different. So like there's this cool thing called bio-individuality and that's kind of where I go with my coaching. I don't say like, hey, let's start with the before and after pictures and let's make sure that we weigh and measure and, and, and then get all these numbers and eat this many calories and weigh and make sure you work out this, like, I'm not gonna cost anymore. That may not work for you. And if it's not working for you, it is not you that is the problem, it's that. You don't need another bit of that in your life. What you need is starting with you, starting with self-love, understanding that you don't need to be a slave to the next diet and always overworking out. You need to understand why you're doing it. And when you understand that, it's not gonna be about, I have to look this way. It's gonna be like, I need to feel strong, empowered, proud of myself. You know, I need to love myself. I need to be able, not like, oh, look at me, I love myself. And you know, I can, it, like it's not a conceited love yourself. It's, this is who you are. You're accepting that. And you're working on being a better, not that anything's wrong with you, but being in competition with yourself and striving to, I don't want to word this the wrong way, but striving to be one step closer to the best version of you. Is that how I want to say that? Because I don't want to ever put that out. You know, I hate diets. You know, I hate before and after pictures. You know, I hate the, hey, you look great. Have you lost weight type thing? Because then, oh God, did I look crap before no I just want you to feel this sense of empowerment and that you're not losing yourself in being a slave to the diet and exercise uh, world that is being put out there on social media on in society itself because that is just not it's not serving us like some people it works for but majority of the people that I work with it doesn't work for so yeah it's about being well. It's about living well. It's about living happy and loving yourself from the inside out. And when those pillars, puzzle pieces, whatever you wanna call them, when those start to fit together, you realize that, oh my gosh, I haven't looked at a diet plan in months and I feel pretty damn good. And you may notice like things are fitting different and you're like, a lot of people say, I just wanna feel comfortable in my skin. And that's different for everybody, like what is it gonna take for that? But I can tell you that if that's where you're at, it's not the next diet trend that's out there that's gonna, that, that you're gonna find that right feeling. Because it's a feel, not a look. So if you're in that area where you're like, yeah, this is totally me, I could use some support, keep your eyes open for the podcast, keep your eyes open for the blog that's gonna come out with this. And if you're a female and you're like, yep, yeah, I need that support. I have a free group called Healthy Living. It is a Facebook group. 
send a message, put a comment below, I'll add you to the group because that is where like, I come out sometimes a little bit more raw than I do out, out here like this. Um, but I feel like I'm done with that. I'm done with, with um, hiding or worrying about what people are gonna think because this is what I do for a living and I, I, I'm human and I struggle too. And I wanna take you through my struggles and in hopes that that may help someone else who's in that area. So if you found value to this, please feel free to share it with, you know, on your page. If you know someone that could benefit from this, tag them in it. If you're like, yep, this is me, you know, give me a thumbs up because like, I want to know, am I resonating with you? Maybe I'm not, but it, it could be unpopular opinion and I'm kind of okay with that because a lot of people that I talk to are kind of in that same vicious cycle and that same boat that I'm in and they just are like, where do I go? Where do I start? What do I do next? And it's going to start with you loving yourself. It's going to start with, from the inside, with, with self, self-love, self-acceptance, nourishing your body, not restricting it from things, and that inner strength to where you feel vibrant, to where you have that energy, to where you're like, life is good. I have my puzzle pieces put in there right, and shit is balanced. And to me... You know, when one thing is out of balance, a lot of other things can suffer. Relationships, like lots of things. So just know that if you're like, this is totally me, you are not alone. Um, and know that there's going to be more of this stuff coming out. So, and if you want to chat more about it, shoot me a message, comment below, and we'll be in touch. But until then, keep your eyes open for all these new things coming out from me. And uh, we'll chat later. So have a great day and be well.